hop aboard and come along with us as we travel with the Tampa Bay Lightning and experience life on the road in the National Hockey League. It's always fun to get on the road and, you know, I think that's when you build a lot of chemistry is when you're with each other like that. If that's the only life you know, it becomes, it's just a standard way of life. We'll take you behind the scenes and introduce you to some of the unknown members of the organization that are instrumental to making a trip run smoothly. They certainly are the workhorses of the teams. They do a lot of the heavy lifting. The news doesn't stop with the lightning on the road and beat writers Eric Erlinson and Damian Cristadero keep fans up to date. And for head coach John Cooper, an off day on Long Island provides him a trip down memory lane. It's just a wave of emotions. Unreal memories. Like I have some of my greatest athletic memories are just being in that stadium right there. All this plus Rick, Chief and the radio voice of the lightning Dave Mishkin as well as a history making comeback. They score! Grab your ticket and your suitcase and your winter coat. This is Inside the Lightning on the Road. We're pretty spoiled. Um, it's definitely uh, first class the whole way. Johnson scores! You have to play well on the road to, 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 to win in this league. Nice hotels. Uh, we travel on our own plane, which saves a lot of time, which gives us more time to rest. It is part of what we do, especially uh, once you get into December. December, January schedule really picks up. You get used to it and, and uh, get on with it. Welcome to Inside the Lightning on the Road. I'm Kelly Nash here driving to the Tampa International Jet Center where Tampa Bay players, coaches and staff will board a plane for an upcoming road trip. We were fortunate to have traveled with the team on one such trip earlier in this season, documenting the routine away from the Tampa Bay Times Forum with a five day three city trip. So come along and get ready to experience life on the road with the Tampa Bay Lightning. The travel day begins the day after an emotional victory over the Detroit Red Wings. Once practice concludes, players shower and change and get ready for the next five days as the equipment staff gathers up the gear for the truck ride from Brandon to the Jet Center. Every season varies and this year is a particularly a little tougher because of the Olympic break. You take that many days off in the, in the middle of the season like we're doing in February. Somewhere along the line you're going to pay for it with a lot of games in a, in a short period of time. As head coach John Cooper wraps up his meeting with the media and the final sticks and skates are packed up, second year forward Alex Kaloran lets us ride along with him as he heads on over to board the plane. Enjoy home. Bye. See you later. When you have a short trip, maybe a one or two game, back to back, you, you, you kind of pack a small duffel. But on a long trip like this, you really got to pack, you know, maybe a few suits and a few dress shirts. So and you kind of have to think about days off. to be sitting in an airport and would be just, you know, so tiring. So it's nice that we get on the plane and kind of have a meal ready for us. And uh, we have yeah, big seats and if we want to take a nap or whatever, it's, you know, it's easy to do. So. It's, it's really nice to have that option. I know we're heading into Detroit after New Jersey, so it's gonna to be tough with the travel and everything, but that's part of the, you know, the rigors of a season, so you just gotta make sure your body's ready to play and you have to come you know, prepared for that game. So, But you don't, you don't try to change too much. Upon arrival at the Jet Center, players pull into the gated area where the plane awaits and park their cars within walking distance. During this time, assistant equipment manager Clay Rawford takes the recently packed gear and unloads it along with various other bags and boxes for the five day trip. Once the players park, they will go through security and board the plane you see behind me. The process is made as easy as possible and the guys find various ways to pass the time during the two hour plus flight to New Jersey. The servers you get on the plane and not have to worry about you know, super long security lines or anything like that, you know, just walking on the plane, it's, uh, it, it makes traveling a lot, a lot more fun. I like movies, TV shows, uh, occasionally I read a, read a book, but mo mostly, mostly on my iPad. I was reading last trip, I, I most like, you know, to, to rent a movie or I'm, I'm watching Breaking Bad right now. It kind of just depends 
Uh, there's a few guys that like to play cards. Obviously a lot of fun to play with those guys and play some cards and have a good time. If you don't play cards, you usually watch a movie or, or a TV show just to, to make sure the flight goes by faster. We play, uh, a, play you know, a game called 7 Up, 7 Down. And, um, you know, it's just something to you know, help the flight go by a little faster, and a little more conversation. And, uh, it's fun, you know, we, 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 do, we usually do it every flight. The organization does a really good job. Having good food on the plane too uh, helps a lot. So it's, it's definitely feels like it's everything done for us so we can, uh, we can hopefully perform our best. Touchdown in Newark and the team departs their plane knowing they'll be back aboard the very next night. They gather their bags on the tarmac, put them on the bus for the ride to nearby Hoboken and arrive at their hotel overlooking the Manhattan skyline just across the Hudson River. The plan is to uh, eat down a little bit, grab some dinner and then uh, come back and call it a night and get a good, good rest. When Inside the Lightning on the Road travels on, we introduce you to some of the faces off the ice that help the team not miss a beat when out of town. And later, we tag along with head coach John Cooper as he visits his alma mater during an off day on Long Island. Basically, they took me down memory lane. 